You know, with Ukraine's mixed history, one of the worst things that's happened to them has been the Chernobyl disaster, the world's largest nuclear disaster. 250,000 years of half-life from the plutonium there. The whole place is irradiated. You'd be nuts, nuts to visit Chernobyl. So here I am. Chernobyl. Ukraine. Back on April 25th, 1986, the engineers of Chernobyl thought they'd run a bit of an experiment and see what would happen if they cut off the power to the cooling cores, uh, or the cooling system over the nuclear reactor core. And what we saw was the world's largest nuclear disaster. For 15 years though, there was a secret. And the secret for those 15 years was how big the follow-up explosion could have been if the emergency work over a couple of months wasn't successful. Gorbachev has since said that the scientists had estimated that if the bottom level of the concrete had cracked, and the hot nuclear material had of hit water, the estimated blast would have been 350 megatons, which would have been enough to wipe out uh, can he, uh, sorry, um, the capital of uh, Belarus, Minsk, some 300 kilometers away, and send enough nuclear fallout to make all of Europe uninhabitable. The sign on the top of the shop here reads Produktu because this is the village produce store for this, one of the evacuated villages around Chernobyl. Behind me is the children's kindergarten of Chernobyl. through um, Propat. Propat is the village closest to the Chernobyl plant. It was built as a model Soviet town, started in 1970 uh, to house the workers and families at the power plant. Uh, 50,000 people lived here. So the town was only 16 years old when the disaster happened. This is a good example here of where nature is fighting back. The building collapsed here on April 10th this year. This is the hospital of Krubat. Some times people are keeping AI in public to distribute the screening while there is none. Actually, to pull off. Walking through the um, amusement park of Prebat, coming up to the Dodgem cars. One of the great ironies is this park was due to open about a week after the disaster hit. So these Dodgem cars never bumped in anger. And this is the uh, <coughs> nuclear reactor here in Chernobyl. What you've got 
over it is the sarcophagus that was built in 1986, uh, immediately after the, the explosion. It took three months to build, and that's keeping everything contained. It's got a life expectancy of 30 years. So add 30 to 1986, and you get 2016. So this is coming up to the end of its uh, life expectancy. But there's a new one being built. How long does it need to last for? Well, the 100 kilos of plutonium inside there has a half-life of 250,000 years. How much bad is 100 kilos of plutonium? One microgram is enough to kill a person. That's to know.